Greetings Knights, and welcome to the Thrift Shop Day Community Challenge video brought to you by Joel's Bargain Armory. Joel's, stop breaking my Estellan helmets. Today I'll be revealing my three favorite submissions to this community challenge, but I won't be doing so alone. Zantos will also be joining us and showing his top three picks as well. Why don't you start us off, Zantos? All right, Knights, coming in at third place for me is the Mighty Coffee. Much like Theor- How Zantos meant to pronounce my name is Theori. Just to put that to rest. Carry on, please. I appreciate a knight that can use a multitude of sets to create a personalized flair. Here we can see Coffee does just that with this swashbuckling mix of the classic Blood Moon Night Hunter set alongside added armor for protection where he'll be swinging and kicking. This ghoulish buccaneer looks like he could take you on in a duel on land, sea, or air with a demonic wingspan that could match the airspeed of an unladen swallow. The stare of Baphomet's glare adds a flare, stop rhyming, that I've always loved, and a gauntlet to boot that looks like it's been severed from the hand of a lichen at Stormrock Point. This knight's look screams he means business, and it's good to know that he's never alone with a friend on his shoulder that he can always talk to. All of my selections are players who built a look from a variety of sets, and here we see Jennifer doing so in a way that I wouldn't have thought to try. The use of the Great Champion sleeves to complement the Fist of the Shadowstalker gauntlet is an eclectic choice that brings a stark layer of welcome contrast against her barbarian-esque bear spirit tunic. And what primal outfit would be complete without a rank 5 goblin axe that not only highlights the spikes of her shoulder pads, but spits in the face of OSHA compliance? Goldsmith goes on to note in her entry that she appreciates browns and silvers, a perspective I share deeply. 10 out of 10 Grolax approve. In second place for myself, I chose Welsh of Northumbria. I personally love this hairstyle. The look gives a serious Rita Repulsa Power Rangers vibe that I've been obsessed with since first laying eyes on the customization. The use of multiple Demon Gate skins on the legs and chest make for an intriguing design choice when paired with the rank 5 legendary light armor to show some skin. Knighthood, we need more tats. Paired with the sleek design of the Kimitsu Katana and the Adventurer's Backpack, this knight shows that less can be more. Bigger isn't always better. Alongside the straight up classic Maverick Gauntlet, this looks cohesive design spoke to me. While this knight stands out in looks, they have unfortunately been blinded by rage, quite literally. So hopefully this praise can act as a sight for sore eyes. In second place, we have Chun Chun Maru, who, wait a second. Where have I seen this before? This must be how my mom felt when she came home from work and found me in her closet trying on her clothes for my Halloween costume. Outis doesn't do much for us, but he sure as hell knows how to dress, and for that we thank him for his sacrifice. And the irony of the witch's shoulders complementing the appearance of the witch hunter set is too good to not appreciate. Every rank of the Night Hunter's boots is classic, and an ode to better times when we got real sets to level up during events, and the bear sleeve bracelets are pure heavy metal. So how could I not give it up to the guy who looks like my knight grew out the Frank Zappa special mustache slash soul patch combo, judging by the skin tone, got COVID-19 and didn't make it out alive. My first place pick for our thrift shop community day challenge goes to... Warblood Monic. I love that this knight used so many different sets to achieve this look. It really screams Pro Thrifter. Not literally, of course. Unless the skull on his helmet is possessed by the souls of all the knights that he's slain in battle, then it probably says lots of things. Why did you slay me? It's only a mere flesh wound. Probably wouldn't say Pro Thrifter. I digress. This set almost gives me a medieval Judge Dread vibe with its color scheme. The use of the Guild Wars helmet paired with the sleek rank 4 rare magic chest give that classic red, white, and black color scheme us Starburst streamers are so fond of. The mixed skins of Magic Unique set at various ranks is a lovely touch as well. I myself am a sucker for the all black armor, but the glowing animations on the magic set rank can be very hard to resist. To add to the fit, we have the very sleek unique light set on his shoulders to give that roguish hero look when paired with his guild cape. This look gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Fantastic job from all contestants. I had a lot of fun giving my opinions on these awesome fits with Fiori, and I hope that all of you enjoyed my thoughts. Claiming my number one outfit born and worn for this National Thrift Shop Day community challenge is Demented SCV, who literally looks like their knight tripped and fell into what appears to be a goblin-owned hand-me-down market. I bet he has to wear those bandages on his eyes because they were poked out by jagged metal bits in the tumble, and as we all know, it's strict goblin law that if you leak ocular juice on it, you buy it. Shame he will never be able to appreciate how cohesive and elegant he looks with his own eyes, but hey, who needs to see when you look that good anyway? And just think of how much money he saves on vision insurance each year. I just 
hope he at least gets a yearly tuberculosis shot. Thank you all for watching, and an especially big thank you to everyone who participated in the community challenge. It wouldn't have been possible without you. The next time you need two men who can barely dress themselves to tell you what they think of your knight's outfit, you know where to find us.